It is sometimes necessary to discharge your LiPo batteries. There have been many times when I charged up my LiPos, went flying, took a few flights and crashed, and was left with unused fully charged batteries. Certain chargers have the ability to discharge batteries so that they can be stored at their desired voltage of 3.8 volts per cell. But I use these simple little 2 and 3S chargers. They are compact and inexpensive and I can charge my batteries all at the same time for quicker charging. But they do not have a built-in discharge feature unlike some of the more expensive chargers. So how can one discharge a LiPo? Well, you can just hold onto your plane and run your motor. But I do not recommend this. Your hand will get tired and it is not convenient or very safe. You also cannot monitor the voltage very well. Another way is to use an inexpensive little charger, such as this one, but in a bit of an unconventional way. I simply hook up the fully charged battery to my charger and use it to recharge another battery. This is a series of time-lapse photos of how that works. In this particular case, both of these 3S batteries end up at around 11.6 volts, which is close to what we need for storing them. You can use this setup in all sorts of ways, and anytime you have a battery that needs charging, then you also have a means for discharging another battery. The one limitation though, as you may have guessed, is that this method only works for certain batteries depending on the voltage required by your charger. My charger requires an 11 to 14 volt source, so a 3S battery is needed. And now on to the final way, and this one works on pretty much all batteries. All you need is a big resistor, and you hook it up as such. These resistors are inexpensive, but be careful, they do get really hot. You do need to select the correct resistor in terms of the resistance and power rating. Here are the technical details for those that are interested, but in a nutshell, I typically use an 8 ohm 25 watt resistor, and that takes a fully charged 500 milliamp hour 3S battery to its storage voltage of 3.8 volts per cell in under 10 minutes. A 2S battery takes a few minutes longer. In a nutshell, Lower resistance will decrease charging time, but increase power dissipation, requiring a power resistor with a higher power rating. But there is a limit to how fast you can safely discharge a battery, and remember that slower discharge rates tend to be healthier for the battery. Whatever way you choose to discharge your battery, you need to monitor the voltage. I use this inexpensive voltage meter. It allows you to set an alarm so that you do not discharge your battery too much. You can set the alarm to come on when the battery voltage drops below 3.8 volts. I highly recommend using this voltage alarm to prevent accidentally over discharging your LiPo and damaging it. In a similar and final note, please be careful whenever using LiPo batteries as they can explode or catch fire and cause harm to people or things. The discharging methods presented in this video is what I use, and the methods work well for me. I have good working knowledge of electrical systems and feel comfortable using them. However, if you wish to play around with LiPos as I do, please note that you're doing so at your own risk. I hope that this video charged you up with some good information and thank you for watching.